Okay, good night. It's uh, it's been a while since we've talked and since I've given you anything. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping you're enjoying your well, time working on your other schoolwork and stuff like that. It's probably a pretty lax schedule for you, I'm imagining. Um, I'm just picturing my own son. Okay, <laughs> when I say that. But anyway, uh, listen, I have something else for you here today, and um, I just want to explain it to you in words. I, I wrote everything out here in as much detail as I could, but I'm just going to explain it to you as well. Okay, so look, um, we never got to build our term projects this year. So some of you were going to do VR, some of you were going to do the hovercraft, some of you were going to do, um, you know, the vortex cannon or whatever the case may be. Okay, uh, you had picked a topic. We did that back before the March break, and some of you had partners. And we, of course, because of the pandemic, we never got to do those things. Now, we're not going to do them. We're not going to actually build them. We just can't reasonably do that um, with this pandemic and not being together at school. So that's unfortunate because really that's that's a really huge part of the course. We spend several weeks building it in class and, and doing all that. It's kind of fun, too, with some of the projects. Uh, so unfortunately, we couldn't do that. But um, part of it was to do a slides presentation on your project. And even if, even if you're not building the project, we can still do at least something like that. Okay. Now, obviously it won't be about a finished project that you made, but, uh, we're going to, going to modify it a little bit. So I'm just going to go through this with you. So what I'd like you to do is make a slides presentation on the project that you intended to do this year. I get that you didn't do it but like there's still a research part of it that we can still do so um, you make a slides presentation that includes the following the history of your topic i included a couple of examples so for example if your topic was vr then give a uh, history of the evolution of vr technology which is surprisingly old okay uh, it goes it actually goes way back okay so that's kind of an interesting topic if your topic was the hoverboard or the hovercraft okay that we have then give a history of the hovercraft technology, not just boards. Like for example, a helicopter is a type of hovercraft. A drone is a really interesting type of hovercraft um, that we have as well today. Okay, so um, you know you're going to have to be think outside the box a little bit. Okay, broaden your topic a little bit. Uh, don't just talk about the hoverboard that you were going to make or that you were going to use in uh, the classroom. Okay, if it was um, the lie detector, there's a long history of lie detectors, stuff like that. Okay, so it depends on what your topic was, of course, but, you know, there's a history to everything. Okay, so we were all, you were all coming up with topics that were not brand new, that you just came up with on the top of your head. So some of you wanted to do 3D printing. Well, there's a, there's a history to that. Okay, and there's a future to that. All right, so applications of your topic. So, for example... I use the example of VR here. VR, lots of people use it for gaming. But that's just one application. Virtual medicine, which is in the COVID-19 era, kind of something that it's probably going to be expanded. Okay. Uh, design, you can design things in VR. It's kind of like when you see Tony Stark and, you know, in the Avengers or in the Iron Man movies, and he's using like holograms, you know, to design things. Well, VR, maybe it's not as cool as the holograms, but I mean, that's what we do with it, right? That's one of the things. Um, help with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. So, for example, they found that VR uh, experiences can help people with psychological problems due to PTSD, okay, especially ex-military, okay, and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's just an example. Um, you know, obviously 3D printing and whatever your topic is, there's always applications, hoverboards, you know, and so on. So you just have to think about that and, and include a few applications, right? Uh, Future applications. So a lot of these things are in development now. And so uh, what is the future of that technology or, 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 or your project? Okay. And also I want you to give me, um, I know that we didn't get to follow through on these plans, but your plan for this semester, I'm just going to get rid of that cursor if I can. So your plan for this semester, uh, what were you going to do? Okay. So what was your plan? And I know it's kind of sad that we didn't get to do it, but if you could just describe your plans for me in your presentation, maybe include some photos that uh, you can find online or something like that. 
Um, yeah. And what was the plan? What, what were your, what, what did you intend to do? Okay. Now, as usual, the presentation, and by the way, if you're working with a partner, okay, before I talk about the next thing, if you're working with a partner, um, then split up this work. Okay. Um, you know, you could have one partner that does all the writing and the other one does the, the images and stuff like that, but maybe that's not a fair distribution of work. So try to dis try to split it up fairly. Uh, you're only allowed to have one other person working with you when you picked your topic. So it has to be that person. Okay. And um, some of you are doing it by yourself. So just do it by yourself if that's the case. Um, all right. But anyway, like, so make sure if you're working with a partner, please include the names of your partners, okay, on the presentation so that I know who your partner is, okay? And I'm not giving someone a zero because there's no name on it, right? All right, so um, as usual, when we're doing PowerPoint presentations or slides presentations, it's important that you include lots of interesting images videos if they're appropriate you don't have to include a video but if if there is a video that's important like say you're doing uh, hoverboards and you or hovercraft and you can show a, a video clip of a hovercraft in action of course you would do that it makes sense or vortex cannon same thing or vr same thing or whatever the case may be uh lie detector even you know you can you can show how lie detectors really work in a short video you know if you can find one online so please include videos, words, your own words, okay, when you're writing out paragraphs and stuff like that. Uh, but images and videos to make it interesting, that's part of the mark. And I included the, uh, the rubric here that I usually use for multimedia presentations. So you feel free to reserve to that, uh, to refer to that, pardon me. So it's, I have it here with, uh, worth 35 marks. So yeah, it's, it's kind of an important project. So anyway, guys, well, I, it's late in the week. It's only Thursday this week, so it's not going to be due by the weekend. I'll, we'll, we'll make it due next week, okay? Uh, you know, let's say by the end of the week, by Friday. And um, yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, just send them along. Uh, otherwise, please read these instructions. Like, please don't, like, please don't send me questions before you've thoroughly read through the instructions. Okay, that's why I post them here, and that's why I make these videos. And uh, yeah, it kind of drives me crazy a little bit when some of you ask me questions that I've already answered, if you just would read what I wrote here. Okay, <laughs> so um, so that's it, guys. I hope you have a good weekend. And uh, so this is due next Friday, so that'll be our 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 your you know few hours of work or whatever between now and next Friday. Um, and that's it for now. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.